Hello Internet! Today it will be the battle of the 8K printers. Behind me we've got the Elgu Saturn II and behind my head we've got the Mighty 8K from Frozen. Now these, both of these printers have launched this year. They're both on, they are bought them both on pre-order and I think they are available to the UK if you did want to buy them but um, some of them may be out of stock or you might need to pre-order them. Now both have got a 10 inch 8K screen and the build volumes are pretty much identical. I think the Elgu Saturn II has uh, about 10 mil um, extra height on the, on the volume. So pretty much identical. They both fall into the medium size printer range. So they're pretty much, as you can see, the same size. Now I accidentally bought the Mighty 8K because I ordered the Elgu Saturn 2, but I've had such good experience with the Frozen 8K, which is there, the Frozen Mini 8K, that's been running a dream. I've had that running now for about eight months, non-stop, every day. The screen's got loads of life left in it. I've had no signs of it dying, and the prints are absolutely fantastic. So when I heard the Mighty 8K was being released, I pre-ordered it straight away. Now, these do vary in price quite a little bit. We got the Algu Saturn, I think, coming in at around £500 or $500 around that mark, depending on your taxes, etc. Now, I didn't actually pay any shipping taxes on this, so that was good. But the Mighty 8K cost me about £750-ish, um, but I also had to pay, I think, nearly £200 tax when it arrived in the UK from FedEx. Now, the Mighty 8K did come with a few extras. It come with two bottles of their 8K resin, and it come with an extra vat as well, and I think some NFEPS extra as well. So it did come with quite a lot of extras, whereas the Elgu Saturn 2 just come with the, well, come just the printer. Didn't get any resin with it, which was a little bit annoying. I did want to try out their new 8K polymer resin they got, um, because that actually falls in, um, at about $30, I think, per bottle, whereas the 8K resin from Frozen, you, it's about £65 in the UK to, to, to buy it, um, and you can't really buy it from their website. So I do want to get my hands on the 8K resin from Elegoo and try that and compare that to the Aqua 8K, because I know the Aqua 8K, 8K is actually really good, because I've used it on my Mini 8K. So today we're going to be doing our first test print on the two printers. Um, I've currently got them running behind me, that's why it's a little loud and it's very hot in here as well. Now obviously you do need to print resin prints at a higher temperature, so you want to make sure the room's a higher temperature. Let me go ahead and show you the actual machines themselves. So the Mighty 8K has a very cool touchscreen display. It's, um, I can't really show you at the moment because it is um, printing, but the screen on this is really cool. It's got a load of sliders and all sorts of things. The screen on the Saturn II is a lot more basic. So one thing I will add about the Mighty 8K, yes, it comes in a, a lot more money, so it's uh, a few hundred pounds more, but you do get Wi-Fi, network port, a camera, and the build quality is better, so it feels more premium. You can tell that with just the screws that screw the back down. They're a lot more solid and chunky and metal, whereas the Saturn ones are sort of plastic feel a little bit more flimsy. But are these features you need? If they print the same and at the end of the day all you need to really do is plug a USB in and click print, you don't really need a fancy screen because you're not really going to be looking at it while it's printing, you're going to be off doing whatever. And the camera, is the camera necessary? Well for one I haven't even worked out how to use it yet so do I really care about it? Probably not. Now. One thing I forgot to mention, the Elgu Saturn II actually comes with a um, air purifier. So it's got a little carbon air purifier that slots in. I think you can see it actually. So we've got our first test print now on the printers. It's a set of 30 millimeter ODSTs from Halo, scaled to the same size as some Imperial Guard from 40K. Now they're printing at 0.25 layer height and I think 3.3 second exposure time. These are settings that I've taken off my Sonic Mini 8K. Um, now I know I should really dial in the settings on both printers, 
but for now I'm just doing this test print with the settings exactly the same, with the resin the same, which is the Soraya Tech Fast Navy and a 20% mix of Tenacious just to give it a little bit of flex so it doesn't shatter and isn't so brittle. So we're going to go ahead, it takes about six hours for these prints to complete and then we'll have a look on the desk and make sure I remember which ones come off each printer and we'll have a look and see how they compare. So first up we've got our SMG Pose 1. This one was printed on the Frozen Mini 8K and for reference we've got a 35mm model on the left which is printed again on the Frozen Mini 8K and our Imperial Guard on the right. Here's a Space Marine for scale as well. Now these models were printed at 28mm scale and it just goes to show how good 8K printers have gotten now. Now this one was printed on the Mini 8K from Frozen. This has been my go-to printer now for about eight months but I wanted to expand my printing capabilities and I wanted to pick up the Elgu Saturn 2 and the Mighty 8K which have a lot bigger uh, build volume. So this one, for reference, that was printed on the Mini 8K. So next up, this one was printed on the Elgu Saturn 2. And I think this just goes to show how good the 8K printers have got now, because I can't really tell the difference between this guy, which was printed on the Mini 8K, and this guy that was printed on the Elgu Saturn up next we got the Mighty 8K, so this one was printed on the Mighty 8K and I can't tell the difference between the two. So Mighty 8K, put in there, Elgu Saturn 2, Frozen Mini 8K. So thanks for watching, hopefully you enjoyed the video. I think the point of this video really is it doesn't matter which Frozen or Elgu printer you buy. Just try and get an 8K high resolution printer if you want really sharp detailed printed minis. The Frozen 8K mini has been my favorite printer over the last eight months. But now I've got the Elgu Saturn 2 and the Mighty 8K. The build volume is obviously much bigger. So I'm looking forward to being able to print off huge armies all at one go. Now, for a budget option, the Algu Saturn II is phenomenal, coming in at about £500. It's a lot cheaper than the Mighty 8K at about £800 plus taxes by the time you actually get it into the country. So, I've used the Soraya Tech Fast Navy for the resin with a 20% mix of Tenacious, just to give it a little bit of flex. Don't really want them breaking because a lot of the resins can be quite brittle. I do want to test the 8K from Elgu, Elgu um, but the Aqua 8, 8K from Frozen I know is really good, captures the details really nice, but again it can be a little bit brittle. So here's my ODST army, I'm looking forward to painting these, and if you enjoyed the video hit the like button and maybe I'll do some more videos of 3D printed miniatures. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.